if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel and this is my channel name dr javed ikbal kokhar lectures on Fris Thank you very much. Hello everyone. I am Dr. Javed Iqbal Kokar, Professor of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology. And we're, I am discussing the autopsy. This is 35th lecture on the topic. And for the previous three lectures, I was discussing the autopsy suit or the autopsy lab. And we are discussing the miscellaneous requirements and continuing with that. The learning objective of this lecture is that in this lecture, I will be discussing what types of tables are used in autopsy suit and what are the dissecting instruments that are required during the autopsy. So the dissecting autopsy tables, two types of tables are mostly used. One is the porcelain which is obsolete due to certain disadvantages. And the other is the stainless steel, which is nowadays preferred due to some advantages. It has peripheral drainage options. There is a water channel with the holes for the drainage of the water. And in the side walls of this channel, there are also holes for the water with which the waste fluids are flown out. And the second advantage is there is a sink for water supply. This is present at the foot end of the table. Hand showers are also provided for washing the body. And the third advantage is the instrument tray is present at the foot end and is provided where the dissecting and the other instruments are placed. Then suction holes, this is the latest. There are suction holes on the sides and the continuous suction is on. So this is the design of the stainless steel model. You can see on the left side that there on the foot end, there is a sink and there is small table for putting the uh, instruments. And on the right side, the table is showing the suc suction holes. Regarding the dissecting instruments, all the instruments are needed for autopsy are cutting and the dissecting instruments, like knife, scissors, hand saw, hammer, chisel, electric saw, needles for stitching, and thread, etc. The commonly instrument which are used in autopsy, they are the surgical blades and knife, scissors, probe, dissecting forceps, cartridge knife, rip shears, chisel, hammer, and saw. Bone forcep, skull elevator, brain knife, scalpel knife, Miring jack, weighing machine, magnifying lens, and a steel tray. Then surgical hand gloves, stitching material, preservatives, and material for sealing and labeling. So this is the pictorial diagram showing the various instruments. Then a suction unit is needed if the table is not provided with the self suction, a suction unit is needed and fluids in the body cavity, they are, have to be sucked out and collected by the suction unit. And there is a bottle or the container attached and we can measure the amount of the fluid which has been sucked out. And this is the picture of the suction unit. Then UV lamp sterilization is required sometimes. A body with fulminant bacterial infection or other viral infection is received. Then after that, we have to disinfect the lab. And whenever autopsy on such cases is done, the lab is closed 
with UV lamp on for sterilization. And it is done for at least 24 hours. And this is the picture of the UV light. Then electrical supply, the sockets, the switches, they are necessary because the electrical instruments are to have to be used during the autopsy. So the installation with the switch boards and the power socket should be there. Similarly, the autopsies are conducted at night and a continuous electrical supply with the generators backup is required. Then a viewing, viewing gallery. This is for teaching purposes in the teaching institution, the student have to view the autopsy or the investigating officer, or sometimes a nominee has been sent, nominee has been sent by the court orders and they can stand in the viewing gallery to view the autopsy. So on the back side of the autopsy table, you can see there is a viewing gallery and these are steel uh, tables. There are hand showers and other required instruments are also. So the summary of this lecture is that we have learned that what are the types of tables which are used and which is the preferred one. And we have learned about the dissecting instrument and other requirements which are necessary for the autopsy lab. So this is all about autopsy. I have covered almost all the topics. And if you feel any uh, comment, any advice, you can comment in the comment box. Take care, Allah Hafiz. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.